Take it away, Mike. Thanks, Carl. So um, I'm on the Odd Balls in the department in that my appointment is split between CBS and CFANS. Within CFANS, which is 50% of my appointment, I have 15% teaching and 63% teaching split. Don't try to figure out how that happens. <laughs> and in BTI, I have a 50% split, which is mostly administration. I'm the director of the Biotechnology Institute. Um, I teach Biology 4121, which we split with this department. Um, and I teach the biology department now. It's microbial ecology. Um, I have a lot of students um, that I recently graduated. Um, Alexa, Adria, and then I have some from Thailand I'm still working with now. I have Matt Nelson, Nicole Lundahl just graduated, and Clarissa Brown is here now. And if you look at them, they're all in all different departments. So my lab is transdisciplinary, intercollegial, uh, multi-departmental. Um, I have a lot of super people I supervise. Uh, these are mostly postdocs and research technicians. They don't need to go through all the names, but they're done in collaboration, and that's the basis of a lot of the work I do, is very collaborative in nature, and it's including also doctors over in the health sector as well, and many of you as well. Um, my administrative activities drive me a lot, and I'm the head of the Biotechnology Institute. I'm also the co-director of the Min Drive area on industry and the environment, and I, co I do that with Paige Novak. Um, my research areas are broken up in several major areas. Um, they touch two of the three trifectas of the department, that's soil and water. Uh, for soil microbial ecology, I'm still working on Brady rhizobium and rhizobium, which I started when I came here and as a graduate student. I just finished publishing a 20-year study on the persistence of these microorganisms in soils in Poland, and we're finishing off the last five years of that study. So we get 25 years of soil study. Uh, we just finished sequencing 200 strains of rhizobia, and we're trying to get insights of both the genome of a host plant as well as the microorganism to figure out how they interact together in soil systems. Um, I've also been studying rhizosphere dynamics, and we've just we had a paper we submitted to NAS showing that plants <coughs> and microbes both have a skating rhythm in response to sunlight, which is kind of cool. And I've been working on soil end transformations nitrification and denitrification, and we're working with Rod, I've worked with Carl, Gary Feierheisen, Hassan, and Satoshi, and I have a project going on in flooded soils um, down in south central Minnesota. I work with folks at the Sapple Labs. Um, my laboratory works in the area of metagenomics, that's a study of DNA in the environment, irrespective of the source or its origin. It's really based on high throughput cheap DNA sequencing technology and generates billions of sequences per run. So my laboratory has invested heavily in bioinformatic analyses. Um, to help with that, I use the Minnesota Computing Institute very heavily, and I joined the graduate program in bioinformatics and computational biology, which really is the tool that allows me to look at this big data. Um, in aquatic microbial ecology, I finished the mapping the microorganisms in the Mississippi River, uh, in the upper part of the Mississippi River, I still work on microbial source tracking, that is determining sources of fecal contamination in lakes, uh, rivers, streams, freshwater reservoirs, and I work in the Great Lakes, Australia, and throughout the state of Minnesota using these metagenomic tools and polymerase chain reaction. I belong to a large group of people that work on public health related microbiology as it refers to waterways and beaches, and I get to work on beach bacteria throughout the world. I published a paper on the microbiology of beaches in North America, which was a lot of fun. I didn't get to go to all the nice places, though. And more recently, I'm working with the Aquatic Invasive Species Center on mussels and milfoil, trying to define the metagenomics of those species. And more recently, I'll just finish up with this area that's totally distinct from anything else I ever did or thought I would do, and involves the area of microbiota therapeutics, that's using microorganisms to cure diseases, and I've been doing that for the last eight years, working with physicians over in the University of Hospitals, mostly Alex Peretz. Uh, we've treated 450 patients by transplanting organisms from healthy donors into the recipients. We've cured 450 people. We've developed new pills to make things this work easily. And we use metagenomic tools to figure out how this works. And we have clinical trials going on to cure metabolic syndrome, irritable bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, and working on autism. So I think that covers about everything.